What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Nick, from On The Foot Market. Guys, I'm joined by Elite. What's going on today, bro? What's going on, guys? His links are going to be down in the description, guys. He's coming on today. Um, another established trader in the FIFA community. A great guy. Um, and it's good to have him on the channel. We're going to be talking today with you guys. I know I've been hitting it to death on this channel about Player of the Year, Young Player of the Year. Ceremony today was announced by PFA on Twitter. It's going to be officially uh, starting Sunday at 9.30 p.m. UK time, 4.30 p.m. Eastern time for us. Uh, 9.30 for a lot of you guys over there. Uh, in the UK um, so that's gonna be happening on Sunday uh, evening for a lot of you and we're gonna talk about some things today in terms of overlooked investments and things like that we've been talking about the special stuff lots on this channel we've been looking a little bit in depth at stuff but I want to give you guys some tips on maybe some golds and some other things that we're gonna look at for young player of the year so Sean is there a starting point that you want to you want to you want to pivot off today uh, for player of the year Sala and then young player of the year I guess it would be Sané or Raheem Sterling I'm pretty yep. sure most people have Raheem Sterling winning it all the bookies have Raheem Sterling exactly probably winning it Sané is just you can't count him out yet kind of thing but uh, it's all but confirmed Sterling um, so when it comes to overlooked investments I guess we'll start with that for yeah. them um, I think gold cards you were mentioning that earlier gold cards that are in the prem uh they did get inflated a little bit from the player of the month sala but yep. every single time uh that a new premier league based sbc has come out they've needed the same players uh yeah and the same cards seem to go up in price right now my favorite investment uh i mentioned this in one of my videos uh was company this is my favorite investment right now he's not the cheapest 85 uh in the prime he's not even the cheapest 85 on man city but the reason i like him so much is because he's not in packs so his informs in packs right now which means that if it is required this card is going to go up a lot more than the others then you've also got players like oda mendy undawan uh players on man city that would obviously link with a Raheem Sterling or, or be used maybe for a Raheem Sterling uh, SBC, uh, possibly just going up into the hype. I expect uh, at least one of the SBCs to drop Sunday night. Yeah, so I think last year they dropped the SBCs on Sunday night as well, and I would expect it to be there as they got. We were, we were looking at it. They came out with the championship one, like, really timely, too. And, like, I'd like to think of the Premier League. No offense to the championship viewers or lovers, but the Premier League has to trump the championship league in terms of importance in terms of viewership in terms of just money so it's for me it's gonna happen um sunday night and they did it last year so last year guys conte and uh who the deli alley won young um so what was interesting is they for me like you know i love the golds which what, what was just elite just talked about i i've already got some canes i've got some petter checks like it, it's insane even for the player of the month um for salah which happened last friday um yes Check was up at 40k for like three hours. Um, Kane had a Kane's 88 was up at like 60 range, and right now they're all back down in value. You know, Loris, I was selling Loris's in the in the low 50s. He's down under under just under 40 right now. Um, and then you've got also like you've got things like Mustafi, and I'm showing this one that I just got on bid like last hour. I got a Mustafi for 3.4 3.8k, um, and like I think the cheapest 84 right now. Cheapest 84. Is like 4.3, 4.4, and you've got Prem 84s that are like literally 4.6. Mares is like 4.6. And what's crazy is, what I'll do is, and I'll transition with you guys right now just to check over and show you guys on Flippin for like a little bit of proof. Um, it's it's mad. Like Mares, I was just looking like a player like Mares, right? It's like his nation isn't amazing for linkage, right? So you're basically, he's just going to be in Prem teams um, for chemistry in an SBC. And last Friday, he hit 7.5k, and I'm pretty sure in the morning, like you know, when the you know when the player of the month comes out, and, like everything's flying up for like the first right, few hours. So right. Flippin doesn't give like the full read on what's happening. You need to be on the market to know what they were at. He got into solutions, man, and he was up at 8k, and right now he's back down at like 4.7k, and this is literally like a week later, a week after the player of the month. So there's a lot of a lot of money to be made in those goals. I, I love them, and I think that. What's crazy is if you guys do the research, which is which is why Sean and I, and we bring you guys all these videos all the time, is if you guys can just understand what EA is kind of doing every month, you can know what's a no-risk investment, you can know what's the right buy, and a lot of these cards right now haven't been this low since like a big, big market crash, which had to have been a month or two months ago. Like these cards really right now are at a great point to get in, and the evidence tells us that the last time, you know, last player of the month is a lot, then you had Aguero's player of the month, you had... Uh, Salah's previous player of the month. I think for these last three player of the months, if I'm not mistaken, and I might, maybe I'll be off on one of them, but I believe at least two out of three, if not three out of three, all had 
um, and I'll show you guys right now. They had this 85 rated, um, 85 rated requirement. Uh, we gotta get this up here. 85 rated requirement in which you needed to submit 11 Premier League players with 85 chemistry, um, which means the the one it, it, it's all about finding like so like you know how Czech sometimes goes nuts, mm -hmm. um, and it's because there's only you have Courtois, you have Czech, and you have Loris. So there's only like three options above 85 rated in the goalkeeper position. Certain things like that. That's why it's there's the whole explanation is towards you sometimes see Pedro flying in value because he's a right mid, um, and it's just it's all about those kind of sometimes those positions go up a little bit more. But man, I think I think that there's even if we don't get this, can you, is there? I really can't see Premier League players between a young player of the USBC or a player of the USBC just not being not being at least going up in value this weekend. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, they're gonna be used. I think it's. We can probably say 95% sure there's yeah. going to be some form of Premier League requirement for one of these SBCs, whether it be Young Player of the Year, Player of the Year, or something else that we're not expecting yet. But uh, there's going to be some requirement for, for some of these 83, 84, 85, 86 rated cards in the Premier League. And if by that 5% chance that it doesn't happen, you're still going to see these things used in uh, Team of the Season SBCs uh, that we're going to probably see throughout Team of the Season, and then we're probably going to have End of the Era cards, I guess, within the next few weeks. Like, there's uh, like I'm not saying that all of these are like guaranteed to happen, yeah. but there's just various SBCs that, that drop all the time. And if one investment doesn't work out, you just hold on to them for another week, and then it will eventually work out. Uh, and I also want to talk about uh, Harry Kane kind of uh, talking, you, you mentioned Mares, uh, how he just flies up to 8K and then drops back down. Well, here's the thing with Harry Kane. Yeah. Um, here's the thing with Harry Kane. Uh, you mentioned that Petr Cech, Courtois, and Lloris are the only cards above 85 for goalkeeper. Well, the only cards above 85 for striker is Diego Costa and Harry Kane. Diego mm -hmm. Costa is no longer in PAX. Uh, for Premier League. He's now at Atletico Madrid. Uh, so his card has continuously rose in price. And then you've got Harry Kane, who's got an 86 and an 88 rated card. Focusing on yep. that 86 rated card, it's not been in packs for a while. It's still not in packs, obviously. But the card is barely more expensive than 86s that are in the Prem. Like you look at Outer Vialde, I, I think that Kane is maybe like 5,000 coins more expensive. Yeah, it's, I'm looking right now. He's, he's like. I just picked up an Outer Wild for about mm -hmm. 22 on bid, and you can get 86k in for about 25, 26. Exactly. That is not a big yeah. difference when you're comparing car a card that has been out of packs for four months. On top of that, he's the only choice. He's the only choice you can go with now at Striker uh, if you need a high-rated squad. Uh, and we see this time and time again when players get that winter upgrade, uh, whether it be from 82 to 84. Uh, that 82, you know eventually meets the price of the 84 just because no, it gets so rare so I that's agree. what's going to happen for for kane it'll be the 86 will eventually meet the price of the 88 and that that 86 is going to get more rare more rare more rare well, right now is the time to get in on that right yeah now. and and as you say that usually when the 86 goes to meet the 88 the 88 says see you later and he goes and flies up right so mm -hmm. that's a great shout man because I, I've been big on kane this whole time and I watched what happened last with Friday's player of the month with Salah last week and Kane hit a point in the morning where he got up to 68 and a half thousand coins because he was one of two and the only one above 85 uh, above 86 rated impacts that is a striker in the prem he got up to 68.5 mm -hmm. that's crazy because the guy was 39 before the SBC and right now I, I'm showing my trends list uh, to everybody elite but I'm I, I'm getting him at 41 40 like it's it's crazy. It's like, it, and this happens all the time where you, you see these things happen and it's just like a rotation and it's a process that just people forget about. And it's mm -hmm. like, it, it really is crazy. And it's like that first five hour hype of these guys fly. And that's when you guys sell, by the way. If you guys are doing this kind of with the golds, that's when you're getting out. Like you need to sell when everybody's buying up, when your player's in the solution early in that morning, uh, or it's, for example, Sunday Sunday night when, when it comes out and everybody's panicked doing it. Because the, mo the majority of people complete the SBC within the first six hours. So that's usually I usually let it rise. I usually there's a, there's usually some kind of like uh, like a shelf of panic selling for the first hour or two combined with panic buying because everybody's doing the SBC. So it does go up, but it's not a ton. I like to wait like two. To, I, I usually wait like two, anywhere from two and a half to four hours mm -hmm. to to sell my cards because I like to think that that's the time when you've gotten two rounds of selling already. So a lot of guys have stopped selling and they've already or they've already sold at low price, not low prices, but they didn't maximize their profits. They wanted to get rid of it. Um, and and that at that point you still have it so follows, many people. 
It follows the same it. pattern every time when there's an it, SBC. It really is, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, I, I try to explain this. It's hard to explain, um, but uh, if you guys can kind of visualize this, I'm showing them on my face cam. It kind of follows a graph like this. So let's say they're sitting at a price about right here and that SBC comes out, they immediately shoot up in price. Let's say it's a uh, Sala SBC where you need an informed Sala, right? What we saw recently. It'll it'll start here, it'll skyrocket up, and then it'll drop quickly back down almost to what it was beforehand before it starts slowly rising throughout the time that the SBC is out. So kind of visualize that on a graph. There's a couple opportunities to where you can buy and sell. Even if you're late to the party in terms of investing, you can wait till the SBC drops. If you know how that fluctuation works and every single time it follows the same pattern, you know how that works, you can make profit no matter what. You don't gotta predict what's gonna happen. You don't gotta predict a requirement. You just wait for it to happen and then you make profit off of the other people who aren't smart enough to know when to buy and when to sell. No, I, I completely agree with you. And then uh, regarding just a quick side note, guys. So like, I, I really like all of the 84 to 89 rated golds. I would say if you can do what we just talked about and you guys, it's not necessarily Kane. There's a ton of players like this um, who are, you know, there's few in the position above a certain rating. So that's why they go higher. Look into that. You guys can do your own research. It's, it's on flipping.com. It's available to you guys all. Um, but really one quick thing to mention. And then I want to talk briefly with you about Sterling and Sané. Just talking about maybe some things that are needed there. You know what's crazy, what I noticed the other day, and I haven't really spoken about on stream or YouTube yet, is that I looked on, to, I looked on, um, I was, you know, I, I always check in players and, and what's going on with them. Like, they, um, on, I think it was Thursday or Saturday, so it was either day before Salah or day after, they updated the price range of David Silva to 110k, um, Courtois to like, they, they really upped the price ranges of a lot of 87 to 80, 890s in the Prem, like, I think they've got the 88 Harry Kane at above 80k now on the range. And a lot of people don't make a lot about price ranges, like they don't make a big fuss, but when you when when I saw EA, this is a big thing that I saw. So I don't know if you know this dude, but Peter Check's price range about a month ago was 32 and a half thousand coins. It's now uh, all the way up to 45k, which just means that it's like a consistent thing that EA knows that these things are constantly being required. So they're hiring the price range guys to kind of, it doesn't tell you the price, but it, it allows for the card to rise properly. Um, and it's kind of like a way of them kind of expecting what it's going to get to. Not not the right. full potential. Like they, it's not like Kane's going to be 85K, but it's like exactly. they, EA doesn't want cards to go extinct. And as much as people will have fun with sniping extinct players, that's not the goal of price ranges. They're, they're trying to keep the card within a range that it can float back and forth between in um health healthfully and, and, and safely so they don't have to get on and, and change the range every day but they've given massive boost to a lot of these premier league players ranges um I, i've seen 88 loris is now his range is 70k um that's a new one it's just they're very high on it the price definitely range, hints towards the fact that they're going to go up from an sbc so it definitely hints toward it but we yeah you can definitely use that as kind of a yeah. Another piece of evidence, but you can't rely on that completely because we have seen oh, in the yeah, past yeah. Where, where EA, they, they do it on purpose. They did it on purpose. Do you remember last year? Just bump my camera. Uh, do you remember last year when Eric Bailly, he, uh, I think he had like maybe a goal or it was an assist. Either way, he was in a bunch of flip, in, flip in, foot head predictions yeah. for team of the week. His I OTW get, gets boosted on the Sunday or the Monday before the team of the week. He got boosted in price. Everybody saw that. And went and bought Eric Bailly. EA tricked them all. That he didn't. He didn't end up being in the team of the week. It was so funny. Right. Yeah. So no, you just gotta be that, careful. That was really bad. And then, quick take on Sterling or Sane. Who's your pick? Who you think's winning? I think it's Sterling. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Sterling. You always go with the bookies, guys. You always go with the bookies. Um, and yeah. So I mean, for Sterling, guys, just to, to hit it really quickly, I think it's Delhi. Last year had a special card. This is something very interesting. Delhi last year had a special card from England from Spurs, and it's the same thing with the Player of the Month Kane this year, where you could submit a Delhi or a Kane. I think last year Kane's inform ended up being the cheapest. They obviously all went up because it, Kane uh, or Delhi, you you could have submitted him in the SBC, right. so they went up. Right. Um, it's a great sniping day for me. Yeah, he <laughs> killed it that day. Um, it'd be really interesting to see. I, I mean, I think because it's really weird with. This is what I've been theorizing in it. I don't know if they're theoreticizing, uh, whatever. This is something that's very interesting and I want you to hear me out on this. So, Sterling has a PTG that's a cam, right? Uh -huh. He's also got two informs that are right wing cards. Right. So, Can what are they? The position, is what Here's what I want to talk about. Like, 
I think he's going to be required because they did it with Delhi last year. But here's the thing that I'm like really thinking about deeply. What if, can, can, can you really, you can't, you, if they put a chemistry requirement of three, one of them is not going to work, which would most likely be the PTG. You could probably only submit the right wing in four. If they do do that thing, because they do it a lot where they do chemistry three. Yeah. They yeah. do do that sometimes. They didn't do it for Salah because so Salah is a central. So here's what I'm saying. If there's an instance like this that comes up and it arises with Sterling's PTG. Now, let me tell you all of you this right now. I did Young Player of the Year Deli Alley last year for about 275k and the SBC was 600k. Now, I don't know if Elite remembers this, and I'm sure he's going to remember when I talk about yeah, it. Yeah, you submitted one of the... the whatever they messed the, it up uh, in the yeah, beginning. the bronze player, right? There was a bronze rare player that you could submit that played for Tottenham. He was in the youth team that has a card on FIFA that you could submit for the first about 30 minutes of the SBC. You could yeah. literally submit it and get that part of the SBC done with, mm -hmm. and that was about half the SBC. Yeah, the rest like of the SBC was about... A too. Exactly. So, that is something that I'm looking at this year, and here's my sleeper pick if Sterling does win. I would stay watch out and look out for that John Stones card. John Stone. they, I was actually about to if, think about him, but if you they say Walker. special England and don't do chemistry and they say met players, so let's look at this Salah right here, right? So you got you got this most Salah right here, and it says Egypt players from Liverpool, common or rare players zero. Think about it, English players from Man City, common or rare players zero. There's only there's only you have Sterling's PTG. You have Sterling's two informs, and then you've got John Stones' team of the group stage. And you've got Kyle Walker. I, I'm just saying, man, that, that's a that's that's a card right now that maybe it's up 5K, but if you're a guy who likes a nice risk, and not, not, not even a risk, like if you're doing what we're talking about, the goals, right? And like you're getting in with all that, you're going to make coins. So if you can afford to maybe take a 5K loss on the 100 you're going to make and go for a Stones or something, that's my little sleeper pick because I'm just looking at it like that where... Salah has a card, right? He has a striker card. And he has a bunch of right wings. But they want you they want you to be able to submit any kind, right? So they've, they've been doing this thing, common or rare players, so you can't submit the rare player. And that's how they fixed the thing with the Delhi last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, how would that they could fix be it? interesting. That's the question. It's like, could they do a rating? Even if they did a rating, that Kyle Walker, OTW, and Inform 86 rated, it's going to get in the way. Uh, so mm -hmm. it wouldn't, it wouldn't, there would be no way to fix it if they messed it up and they've messed it up more than just that deli alley they've done it probably five times i mean i mean they would literally do they, they would have to like say the, like the birth date <laughs> or something <laughs> to, to like submit a uh, man city player with brown hair blue eyes blue eyes I mean, like, born just, in 1987 yeah it's crazy like i think that's a really a decent sleeper pick if if you're gonna if you're gonna pick one so just to end the video you're saying Salah. Let's hear a price prediction on the SBC. Salah price prediction, 600K. Okay. Uh, hey, I'm doing that. because I, If that's 600K, I'm doing that. And then for me, I'll probably say... I'll probably say... I don't know if it's going to be a mil, but I would say closer. And then Sterling or Sané, because they're going to be very similar cards. Both about 92, 93, 91 rated with 99 pace and about 92 shooting. What are you saying for their SBCs? 350K. Yeah, I'll go with. I, I was gonna go with 400, 450, um, and they were expensive last year. But I think EA is gonna be up some some mastermind stuff here, and I think EA knows that everybody knows that a similar version, at least rating wise, you you were talking potentially positionally differently in team of the season. But I think EA knows that the community is aware of that, and I think EA's obviously their job here is yes, it's a cool but cool thing, but they want to take coins off the market and make people submit more coins away because, Sean, what happens if you submit more coins away before team of the season? Wait, well, what's the question? I said, what happens if you submit more coins away to SBCs before team of the season? What does that leave you with? Last coins. Yes, and then you're gonna be <laughs> EA's, EA's little little peasants and buying their FIFA points. Yeah, all right, falling so, into the falling into their trap. Don't fall into the trap. Don't buy, don't do untradeables before team of the season. We ma I made the mistake last year. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's not worth it. Untradeables really aren't worth it as much this year as they were last year in, in, in general. No, they're not, man. They're, I completely agree with that, man. Like, dude, there was yeah, there were so many last year that seemed to be more worth it. I haven't really seen one outside of me. I've done that Quincy Proms and I've used them all year. Mm -hmm. I spent like two mil on those PTG packs, bro. There's not even a PTG in my starting eleven. I've got Malinkovic, I've got Sterling, I've got all those dudes. I don't use any of them. Yeah, you know, so it's yeah, it's crazy. Not even close. Yeah, guys, big thank you, Sean. Thanks for coming on, man. No problem. I appreciate the uh, opportunity. It's nice to be back doing some more trading videos. 
Um, uh, is it cool if I plug my YouTube? Yeah, no, no, no. His links, guys, are going to be in the description All down right, below. Cool. My YouTube channel is E-L-Y-Y-T. You can find the link in the description below. That's all I ask. Go ahead and check it out. Just give it a chance. He also streams on Twitch, guys. Check him out there. He's also got a Twitter. We'll plug the links down below, guys. Thanks for watching the video today. If you guys did enjoy, smash a like. And then in the comments below, if you've, if you've made it to this video, if you made it to this point of the video, rather, I would like to know, who do you think is going to win... Young Player of the Year. It's already been leaked, and you guys know on my channel that Salah probably most likely 99.8% has one player of the year. If he doesn't, well, I look like an idiot, and everybody looks like an idiot who believed that leak. But I'd, I'd look like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Young Player of the Year, who you guys got? Sterling or Sané? And thank you again for watching the video, guys. Or Harry Kane. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out, everybody.